Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? Eric's here. Welcome to my channel. I'm coming from Las Vegas right now to talk to you guys. And we're going to go over a little quick thing that you do at conferences. I'm at a place called Leeds in Las Vegas the next few days where buyers and sellers come and meet and talk about all the different ways they can work together. People ask me all the time on, you know, what do I do? How do I find buyers? How do I find some placements, right? One way to do it is you can go to conferences. A lot of this business is all about relationships. So you come to these conferences, you set up meetings ahead of time, ahead of time, right? So that you have a plan in place and you're meeting people. And then you have some plan of what you're looking for. So if you're somebody looking for advertisers, you would look to see who's attending and try to set up some meetings ahead of time to speak to some of these advertisers. Perhaps you send some things to them ahead of time, wetting their, their mouth of, of all the opportunity that is there for, for them to have in getting traffic from you, right? With you being able to generate leads for them that they can buy and they get all excited, right? If you're an advertiser and you're looking for traffic, then you'd be looking for different types of publishers, whether it's you're looking for someone who's buying Google or Google, or Facebook, a media buyer. Uh, you might want to work for people that have email lists, or perhaps you're looking to get your offer placed on some affiliate names. Uh, whatever that is, the point is, is that you come to this place and you have an opportunity to be around so many people in a short period of time, right? You can normally take a trip, you fly to Las Vegas to meet one company, Right? And it's great. You meet with one company, you could be there for a day or two, whatever. But when you're in one of these conferences, there's so many people, there's so much opportunity. There's there's billions of dollars that are being exchanged. There are deals being done at this show. And if you do it the right way, in a productive way, where you know what you're looking for, you know what you're looking for for the show, what you need, you can set up those meetings and you can have back to back meetings. You want to come prepared. You don't you want to come with an idea of, of some things that you're going to be able to present to them, show them the opportunities, but you're also going to want to be able to just just a relationship. You want to make somebody see you, see what you're about. You can get a feel for somebody's character when you meet somebody, right? And relationships go a really long way. A lot of this this business is done over the internet, online, where people are emailing or they're they're texting each other, PMing each other, and I always like to just one, pick up the phone, two, try to do a Zoom, see each other, to get to know each other. But when you meet somebody in person, the relationship goes to another level. It's, it gets more personal, you start to become friendly with the person, and slowly but surely, that relationship will ascend. And where maybe somebody was a bit cold to you where they didn't want to work with you in the beginning, now they start to warm up to you, especially if you guys hit it off, right? So you come with a plan, you, you set it up early, you, you then go and you execute and you go back to back to back to back. You do as many as you can, right? I like to think of it as like a cost per minute when I'm here. Uh, you know, it's like, how many meetings can I have? How many people can I bump into? You set up some, but you also want to leave some open because what happens is a lot of the times, you know, in the past I used to set up meetings every 30 minutes, right? And I know so many people in the industry that as I'm walking from meeting to meeting, I'll bump into some people that I haven't seen, I'm not really working with, but then we see each other and just start talking and things start sparking and uh, then I'm late to the next meeting. And then it's just start like just kind of like everything just kind of gets screwed up for the day. So you want to leave yourself a little bit of time for that run-in uh, person that you're going to bump into, the randoms, and just put yourself out there. Don't lock yourself in the room. You know, just, just, just be you, don't be afraid. Just go out there and, and talk to people. But, you know, I encourage all you guys out there that are looking to get into this business to try to show up to some of these events. Uh, and I know it's intimidating, but you got to take the first step and get there to see what it's all about, to see what the industry is all about, see the types of people that are there. See if you like it, right? See if you like the people that are there. And slowly but surely, I promise you, it gets easier and better each time. And if you prepare yourself ahead of time, like I said, where you identify who's coming and you get meetings set up before you get here, you don't have to rely as much on just bumping into people and saying like awkwardly, hey, you wanna you wanna do business together? Like, no, that's not the way you do it. If you do that and you find somebody, that's awesome. That's a welcome, that's better. But you should have a plan when you come in. You should be prepared for if you bump into somebody in the elevator and you have 
15 to 20 seconds to talk to somebody and tell them exactly what you do. You want to have your mission statement down and prepared. I help X with Y, right? I help somebody with a problem by a solution so that they can get that result, right? So simple as that, right? And you can do that and be, you know, remember that in your mind. You can quickly tell people what you do, how you do it, why you're here, and if it makes sense when you work with you. So with that said, guys, uh, that's a little tip for you guys on uh, while I'm here in Vegas. I'll try to uh, do some more videos for you as I'm here to give you guys a better idea. Maybe I can uh, video some stuff while I'm going to meetings or conferences and you guys can get like, a better feel of what it's all about. But um, yeah, and it's fun because it's, uh, it's in Vegas. So that's just a plus in so. So with that said, guys, appreciate you all. Uh, if you like this, subscribe. Put your notices on. Keep coming back because we're going to be, uh, let's grow together, baby. Let's do it. Thanks for being here. Talk to you.